Hey Wampers and welcome to the beta. In this video we will show you some of our new functions and how import and export works in Wamp. Let's have a look. With our beta launch we've introduced 3D model import for the very first time. When we are in the scene we click on our top bar where we would usually get out a new primitive and here we can find our new upload file button to import a 3D model. There are a lot of free models available for you to download on websites like Sketchfab, TurboSquid and many others. Just make sure to check the licensing and if you have permission to use the models in the way that you would like to. For uploads make sure that you have a zip file and also that the zip file is not within another zip file which can happen when downloading the models. Also, keep in mind that the max file size for imports is 50 megabytes. For our example, I will be uploading this free rock file from TurboSquid. You can see how long it takes to upload your model at the top right where we can also find our downloaded exports. Usually it shouldn't be very long though. When importing a zip obj, their applied material will be imported too. For example, we can see that the rock we just imported has its own material. Feel free to either keep that material or you can use and play around with the many super materials available on WAMP. Now, what's truly incredible is that our imported models act like their own shape, so we can let them interact with our other primitives as well. Here for example, we can use the spheres and let them goop, subtract or stain our imported rock. We have also improved our exports for those who want to export their WAMP creations. To export a 3D model, we click on export at the top right, then 3D mesh. Here we can choose if we want to use it for 3D printing or a general export that you can use for games or animation. You can decide the quality and triangle count or remove the texture. A new hot pro feature that also comes with the beta as well is the clean topology option which makes it very user friendly to use in other engines. Now from here you can also see we can easily switch to video or image export. If you are interested in video and camera animation, we do have a dedicated video for that, which we will link for you in the info box at the top right. When clicking export, you will see that you can also export a full screen image, which will render out an image of what you're currently seeing in your scene. With another one of our new features, you can now set a frame. You can also find this option in the camera menu at the right. Our image frame feature allows you to export at different aspect ratios and croppings. You can choose between landscape or portrait mode, then make individual changes to the aspect ratio by dragging the buttons or choose one of our presets and click export to render out your cropped scene. We can then choose our quality settings in the image render, like the resolution, file type, or if we would like to include the background or not. When we then click on export, it will automatically download our render for us. It's that easy, so we hope you will have fun experimenting with the new import and export options. Thank you so much for watching and keep whomping.